Hey, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial and today we're going to show you how to use your mp3 files in Machine. Now for those of you who have the Machine 2.0 software, I'm sure you've noticed that you can't just drag and drop an mp3 file in there. It'll only accept WAV files. Well, there's actually a very quick workaround that you can use to turn your mp3s into waves that's not painstaking and very quick. You're going to have to download an app called Adapter and you can get that on macroplant.com. I'll show you the URL right now. All right, macroplant.com. This is what adapter looks like and it's for both PC and Mac users. So you don't have to find an alternative if you have a PC. So once you download it, install it and everything, go ahead and pull up the interface and you can take a soul sample or whatever you're, you're chopping up if it's an MP3 format and you can change it to wave really quickly. It also works with pictures and other types of medium as well. So right now I have an acapella pulled up in adapter. All right, just a random acapella. This is what the interface looks like. It's an MP3 format, but if I want to convert it to a WAV file, I can do so just by going to the menu and changing a few things around. So I go to audio, notice it has recently used, or I can just scroll down to audio and pick dot w a v for wave and it also has mp3 aac a whole bunch of audio formats you don't need to know about that now but anyway you go ahead load it up click wave and then click convert all right now once the file has been converted you can just go ahead and drag and drop it over into machine and you will be good to go my friend now once again that's Drum Machine Addicts, just with another quick tip to show you how to use uh, MP3s in Machine. Uh, just to demonstrate we've done this effectively, I'm going to pull up Machine and show you that the file has actually loaded in there. So hold tight for one second. All right, now as you can see, we've loaded our WAV file into Machine. It was previously an MP3 before we put it in Adapter, and now it's in the software. So from here, you can just change your audio settings to make sure that you hear everything if you're going through a preamp or whatnot, but basically that's the gist of it. We now have our sample loaded. We can chop it up, do whatever we want, and make our masterpiece. Once again, it's Drum Machine Addicts back again with this tutorial. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe, and please follow us on our social media if you have any episode ideas or any questions that you want to pitch to us. All right, we're out. Peace.